Hello friends, Tracy Donald here and I am really excited. If you are brand new to Saint and you are just getting your makeup or you've just received it or if you've had this beautiful palette sitting around for a while and you're like, bah, I forgot what to do, then this video is for you, okay? I'm gonna try and keep it super short and sweet, but sometimes I like to tell you all the information and I get carried away. So we're gonna reel it in, Tracy Donald. Okay, first things first though. You may have already experienced pressing to open your tin and kind of gouging your makeup. My advice to you is when you're opening your tins, hold the tin with one hand, and put your thumb gently on the bottom side and just gently slide it open, okay? Now, these lids do not go anywhere in your compact. I, I've seen some clients think that they go under and then go in your compact, but you'll notice it doesn't fit that way. These are not meant to be in the compact. However, I recommend you keep them in a little baggie or something because you might wanna do a color swap some at some point and you might wanna keep the tin that you have, say it's a summer versus winter color, <clears throat> excuse me, or you only have so much real estate in your compact and you have a lip and cheek that you've fallen in love with that you want to use every day and you want it in there. Okay. So keep the lids for sure. Um, the other thing is, is you would have by now gotten a text from me and it would have this photo on it. This photo is actually um, a really, really helpful resource that shows you exactly where everything goes if you forget. Now, when you're learning, the best advice that I'll give you is print this photo from your phone, okay? Or you can always pick one of these up or have me pop one of these in the mail if you'd like a card. Um, but come to this video and what you wanna do, and this is how I learned, is you wanna play it, pause, do, play, pause, do, play, pause, do your entire way through applying your makeup. Okay, that's the best advice that I'll give you. Now we have 30 days from the day you receive the makeup and what I, when I mean receive, the day that it's actually like, if Canada Post sent you a label, that's the day, or like a, a knocker to say, come pick your package up, that's the day that your 30 days begins. If FedEx dropped it off or UPS dropped it off, that's the day, okay? So my advice to you is get that opened and let's start using it because we want to know if we need to swap anything out um, within the 30 day window. OK, and if that needs to happen, just reach out to me. I'm going to make that as seamless as possible. OK, so um, next thing before I actually put makeup on is we want to put the product in the compact in the way you're going to use it. OK, super important. So that's going to take away any confusion of like, oh my gosh, what's next? Because you're literally just going to go one, two, three, and you're going to go down the order. Okay. So we're going to start with bronzer or sorry, we're going to start with contour. Okay. So contour is number one. Okay. Um, your main highlight is number two. Your brightening highlight is number three. Your bronzer is number four. Your lip and cheek is number five. And then if you have other products, um, let's say you have a color corrector. Let's talk, because I'm gonna tell you where that goes. It actually goes before your contour, okay? I have my setting powder in here, but you know, if you have illuminators or um, eyeshadows, they're gonna go here. Most of you will have some real estate in your palette. You're not gonna hate that, because you're about to go down a rabbit hole and fall straight in love, okay? Now, I am actually going to use the smudge brush to apply. The majority of my clients start with the 3D brush, okay? This is probably the most universal brush if you're only gonna have one. Um, you can use your finger to apply, you can use either end of the brush, or, you know, eventually, I'm gonna highly recommend you snag a second, third brush, um, just so that you have the tools. So the analogy I love to give is, if you were building a house, could you do it with a hammer? You could. There was a point in time in our world where houses were built with just a hammer. Um, but it certainly is a lot easier if you have a saw and, you know, a measuring tape and um, like all the things, right? And so these brushes are all double ended and, you know, having a couple of ends to work with is super helpful. One last thing before I go into makeup application, our brush cleaner, super important. This was one round of cleaning all of my brushes the other day. How crazy is that? Okay, so our brush cleaner is a dry cleaner. It means you can literally use it and go right into a clean, dry brush into another color. Um, but it also keeps the bacteria off your brushes. Super important. Okay, so I'm there is like a domed end on the smudge and then there is kind of like a flatter end. I'm going to use the flatter end 
and I'm going to just kind of go into my contour and I'm going to load the brush up on both sides and I'll show you why I like to do this because and here's my cheekbone so I want to bring the contour just below that cheekbone like this and loading it on both sides allows me to just go back and forth if the product is only on one side of the brush it's very hard to do that okay and here we go on the other side now if you have the 3d brush you're going to do that with this end okay and now I'm going to go to my forehead and we're going to literally just go coast to coast now I like to make sure that this is a little deeper on my forehead I love the contrast that it brings okay next up is the jawline now just while I'm thinking about it I think we all at one point in our lives watched Dora the Explorer, okay? And the first thing I think of when I think of Dora is swipe or no swiping. Um, do not swipe your product, okay? You want to dab your product. You do not want to swipe it. Swiping it picks up way too much, number one, and um, you're, you're just going to waste it. Okay. So when, and you're also going to have too much makeup on, we do not want this to feel cakey. We agree. We want this to look and feel like a natural skin and when done properly, it will, but that's definitely one of the most critical tips. Okay. Step two, I'm going to flip to the other end and I'm going to go into my main highlight and my main highlight is going to go in the smile area. So when you're smiling, you kind of light up the whole bottom of your face. And so I'm just literally, and you can use your finger, you can use your 3D brush for this. Here we go. All right, now, do you see the redness that I have? My makeup, for the most part, is going to automatically correct that, but I like to give it a little bit of help. And I also like to kind of bring a bit more of this just up here because we tend to have like broken capillaries in that area. And then the last place I'm going to put my main highlight is just above my brow. Okay, now I do always have a paper towel kind of right in front of me. I'm just going to swipe the product off there. You could use a damp cloth, anything, a tissue, um, it's because I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into the next color. And I'm going to start here and I'm going to just basically create an upside down triangle on my forehead. Okay, now I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna come just in between these lines. And then I'm gonna go here with some and there. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this into the corner of my eye. Like I don't like to get it right into my tear duct area. I kind of like to bring it down a little bit more and then I'm going to go right here and do a lift. Okay. And then we're going to come over here. Now, one little trick that I'm going to tell you about is, uh, I have mature skin. I'm almost 46 and, uh, I like to just take my finger and kind of just press that in and make sure that I'm filling in those fine lines that are there as opposed to accentuating them. And then I'm just going to take what's left on this brush and I'm just going to kind of even it out over my eyelids. You can see I've got quite a bit of discoloration on these lids. Um, and so that is just going to take that away. Okay, and now I'm ready to blend. Now, if you were watching and paying attention, I started the darkest and went to the lightest. I'm gonna blend lightest to darkest, but in sections, okay? So the last thing I'm gonna blend is this contour because I want that, like this makeup is sitting on my warm body, you know, on my skin, my body is warm, the makeup is warming, it is cream, okay? So it's gonna make it really, really easy to blend. So I'm gonna pick up my 3D brush, I'm gonna go to the flat end, and I'm gonna start right here with this lightest color and always circles up okay why because we want to fight gravity okay <laughs> from this day forward we're fighting gravity if you do this makeup properly this is going to be like spanks for your face and you're going to love it okay look at that it's blended out so so simple now i'm going to do my lids just like that okay up and down on the nose and then I'm going to flip to this end for my under eye area and I'm just going to kind of swoop it. Think of like that Nike swoop sign. 
Swoop, there it is. I know that that's not the Nike song, but it sounded fun right that, at that moment. Okay, on that note, on Monday nights, I do a live at 7 p.m. almost every single Monday, with the exception of holidays and if I'm on vacation. And if that's the case, if I'm on vacation, I usually have someone to fill in for me, okay? So you can count on every single Monday having an opportunity to watch me do my makeup, maybe show you some new colors, maybe show you some new tricks. And here's what I'm gonna tell you. If there's ever a color or a technique that you'd like to see demoed, um, just ask me, just say, Tracy, can you do this? And I will, if I don't know how to do it, I'll figure it out and I will do it for you, okay? Um, so Mondays at seven Eastern, okay? All right, so I'm pretty well blended out. Now on the jaw, you notice that I blend, blended down, even though I said always blend up. This is the only area where we do that because we wanna help this match here and here, okay? Because we tend to not see any light there. <clears throat> all right, so now I've left the contour on my cheeks to the very end and all I'm gonna do is take the brush and I'm just gonna kind of press in and then I'm gonna push up. Now, your immediate response in the beginning of using this makeup is gonna be to make this contour go away. <laughs> okay, make it go away. But that's not what you wanna do. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna really limit the effect of the makeup. This is actually gonna create dimension. You can see already the dimension on my cheek and just how it just kind of brings everything to life, okay? And so I'm just gently tapping and then pushing. And the reason we want to push up is because we don't want this contour to be down here. It's going to do the opposite of what we're looking for. Okay, so now, again, we're tapping. And we're pushing. Tapping. Pushing. Think of this as your push-up bra for your face. Okay, now I'm going to tell you another little thing. Let's say that you accidentally kind of get a little bit, like this is maybe kind of brought a little forward. Go to the other end of the brush, the pointed end, go into your main highlight, and you're gonna literally just kind of come underneath it and swoop it up. And that is just gonna clean that up quite nicely for you and make that line a little bit more prominent, okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of bronzing. So we're, you know, summertime, bro I still wear bronzer all summer, but it's not as necessary. It's, you know, it's already to the time of year where the, the, the tan is fading and bronzing is going to be like necessary for me on the daily. Okay, so I'm just going to take my brush and very gently tap in. And I say very gently because our bronzer is actually quite pigmented. All of our makeup is, and I want you to repeat after me right now. Less is more, okay? Less is more with this makeup always. You don't need to cake it on to have a beautiful finished effect, okay? So really quickly, if you're ever unsure of where to put the bronzer, think of a three, okay? Now on my neck, I'm gonna bring it down. Okay, just like that. On my cheek, I'm literally just going to push it in a diagonal line up toward my hairline. Now this is going right over that contour. The contour is typically cool. The bronzer is typically warm and I like to kind of take what's left on my brush and kind of bring it right up on that little halo area. Do you notice how I'm staying away from here? And do you notice the brightness in the center of my face? Okay, that is exactly what we're looking for, all right? Now, before I go too much further, I'm gonna show you how you can fill in your brows. So when I color matched you, 90% of the time, I have color matched you to a color that is gonna be perfect in your brows. If you are not that person, I told you. If I didn't tell you, go ahead and use your contour in your brows. What you need is a brush that has a nice firm tip, like there's nothing soft about the tip of this brush, and a spoolie, okay? That is what you're looking for. Uh, this is our line brush. If you are interested in the Saint one, if you don't have one, let me know and I can help you. And you're literally, and you're gonna watch me looking up because I I have a big mirror behind my phone and my 46 year old eyes well they didn't they're not doing what they did when they were 30 <laughs> let's just say that okay so all I'm gonna do is follow the hairline and I'm just gonna do like little hair like um, you know movements very gently 
across the whole brow. Now, if you are not familiar or you don't typically fill in your brows, I did not either. And my friend Meg at Boot at Pick Meg Bucci at Pixie Spa in Sarnia um, definitely was the first person to influence me in regard to my makeup routine and you know how much of a difference just some subtle things make. And filling in your brows is definitely one of those things, my friends. Um, it totally frames your face. And so once I'm done, I just use the spoolie and kind of even it out. But do you see what I'm talking about? There is a massive difference from the automatic lift. Okay, we've got an automatic lift going on here. This has just warmed things up significantly. Okay, and so when you do the other brow, the key is to make them look like sisters, not cousins, but they do not have to be twins. Okay, so they don't have to be identical, but you want to kind of match them up as close as possible. And again, I'm just doing those little hair like kind of swipes and this brush really does do all the work. You've just got to kind of paint in the lines and boom, there we go. Okay, so brows are done and look at the difference. So what I'm seeing on my own skin is everything's kind of evened out. I've definitely, you know, gotten a handle on the redness. We're not finished. I'm going to go ahead and put some cheek color on. I'm going to show you a hack on my eyes without eyeshadow. Okay, um, so I'm going back to the smudge brush. I'm going to go into my cheek color and I used to be a little confused as to where the cheek color went a lot of people kind of we always thought like smile find the apples of your cheeks but if you do that when you stop smiling like your brush can your blush can land down here so I like to take two fingers and that and then I go right on that high point of my cheekbone okay and I'm not very like I'm I'm pretty heavy with my my blush but not like over the top um, but it is easier to add more than it is to take it away. Although if you put too much, you just blend. Okay, that's all you've got to do is blend. So now that it's on, I'm going to take the 3D brush and I'm literally just very gently pushing it in a diagonal motion toward my hairline. Just like that. Okay. Same thing over here. Done. Now, some people will bring that right up into their temple area. It's a preference thing. You're literally, if you go on on um, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and you search Saint, you will find hundreds of artists that are just happily sharing how they use this amazing makeup. All hundred of them are going to do it a little different. What you need to do is figure out what methods you like the most and what works best for you. So before I do my lips, I'm going to go back to the smudge brush. I'm going to bring it into my bronzer and I am going to give my eyes a little bit of color. So even if you started with a basic palette, you can... Definitely, and I kind of went out of the lines there. If you paint out of the lines, it's okay. It's super easy to clean up, you guys. It's easier if you kind of just pull your lid tight, actually. And so this is just my bronzer, okay? Look at that. Like, totally looks like I have shadow on, okay? So now we'll do the other side. And when it's time for shadows, let me know and I can help you. Uh, definitely was the thing that I was most afraid of when I started selling Saint because I had no clue. And now, like, I just love how it just finishes the look. So, okay, last but not least is the Liparuskis. Okay, so I'm going to take my multitasker brush. I'm going to go into my contour, which I've done a few times. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to grab some lip conditioner. If we met at a party, you've probably tried this. If not, you won't hate it, okay? It is so hydrating. It's like skincare for your lips. So I'm taking the small end of my multitasker brush and I am lining my lips. Now, as you can see, again, this is a product that's already in your palette, you guys, okay? So now I'm flipping to the other end and I am 
feeling in my lips. Super simple, okay? Super, super simple. Okay, couple things to wrap this up. I do have one more step. For me, setting powder is super, super important, okay? Um, I have oily skin, which is why I did not think Saint would be so good for me two and a half years ago, three years ago when I was introduced, but it is. So I'm taking the powder brush. You can use the 3D brush. Just be very careful that you're not going into the products above it, okay, with the brush. The reason I'm gonna show you the powder brush is because if you didn't start with the powder and you decide to add it, you actually save $15 and you get the powder for like eight or $9 when you buy, or maybe $10, whatever, when you buy the two together, okay, when you get the brush. And when I was, you know, probably until just a couple of months ago, I really didn't use this a lot until one day I was doing a demo and my setting powder was here and right above it was a powder illuminator and I was going in and I was setting my cheeks and I was like, and I was putting illuminator. <laughs> you do not want to put illuminator in the creasy under eye area ever. And that's what it was doing. And so that's where I was like, oh, so this brush is made to perfectly fit inside the tin and get into and, you know, tap the powder over where it needs to go. This is a translucent powder. Uh, and what it is meant to do is take down that dewy bit. Okay. This is definitely, you know, um, a, it's a cream makeup, so it's going to be more dewy than you're used to. In the beginning, it, there is a transition where you have to give your skin probably about seven to 10 days to really, really get used to it. But I tell you what, you are not going to want to look back when you realize the benefits of using this makeup. So, um, okay. So now here's what I want to just go over. couple things. Number one, I do have an Instagram um, page, Tracy Donald Beauty. I do recommend you come over there and follow me. The link is actually in the comment section or in the, the um, introduction section of this video, okay? Um, and like I said before, every Monday at seven, I go live. So I strongly encourage you to hop on once in a while and just grab your palette and maybe follow along or just come on, check it out. You're gonna learn some new tips and tricks almost every time, I promise. If you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm still a little confused. I do not want that, okay? I have no desire to add to your makeup graveyard that you have in your bathroom, and I want this to be used. I want you to love this because I know how it makes me feel, and I want you to have that every single day. If you're struggling, come and see me one-on-one -on -one if you're local. Let's book a Zoom if you're not local. In 20 minutes, I can have you squared away and feeling super confident using this product, okay? So that's really important. And um, the last thing I'm gonna tell you is if you fall in love with this makeup um, and you're like, oh my gosh, where's this been all my life? You definitely have people in your life that probably need to hear about this. And when you book a party with me, you get to pick from our line brush, our multitasker brush and our eyeshadow brush. So that's like a 25 to $36 savings and just reach out to me and having a party honestly is not a lot of work, but there's a ton of gain. So we can talk more about that. But you guys, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you're loving your makeup. Please feel free to share your after photos with me. Always feel free to post them here in the group. Um, there's nothing more empowering for women than someone seeing, okay, she can do it, then I can do it, okay? So let's just kind of um, help each other and just know I'm a text, I'm a phone call, I'm a Facebook message, an Instagram message away. I'm here to help you. And I am really excited to be helping you get your beautiful Saint Glow on every single day. Have an amazing day and we'll talk soon.